Hi, everyone. Okay. So I want to share a few details about the recent bug hunt we conducted in my team. Actually, it's so fresh that uh, it finished after uh, the submission of, the of this lightning talk. So let me give you a bit of uh, context. Well, we changed an underlying service of an internal library we provide in my company. And, uh, well, we have to do it fast because of contractual reasons. And we were told that there is no way that we can ship two versions and uh, ask our uh, client applications to migrate twice. So it must be absolutely bug free. So we worked a lot and we shipped on time. And then two applications loaded it and in a few minutes, one reported a regression. Well, but only one of them. That was uh, already interesting because they use pretty much the same uh, configuration file and only on one of the servers. It was like, ah, okay. Uh, it makes uh, it a bit more uh, difficult. And there was even more bad things coming. Uh, we had non-deterministic error codes from our third-party service. Sometimes this, sometimes that. It, we, and they were very poorly documented. And uh, it's true that they started around the load, but what if it's a, if it's a coincidence? Well, the bad thing is that uh, our the, the client application did an immediate fallback. We blacklisted that version, so they couldn't reload it uh, later. And uh, actually, restarting the third-party server helped. We tried uh, to run our tests, both with the old and the new versions, the integration tests, and they were all fine. And uh, we, there was no way to retry it in the, in the test phase. We read the code for a long time. It was maybe around a thousand lines of change, and we found uh, nothing. And, well, maybe it's just a coincidence. What can we do? Well, I was thinking more and more about this. My manager was really not uh, confident about this being a coincidence. I said, okay, in general, I don't believe in coincidences. So if it's about most probably, I was not sure, but if it's about my code, why should I believe in coincidences? So I thought a bit, uh, a bit more about this, and I tried to simplify the critical path in, in our library to something that uh, fits, uh, well, just a few lines. And uh, I ran it with uh, different compilers on my local, with uh, all the different uh, warnings that is possible, but I couldn't trigger any warning. Then I said, well, I wanted to learn a bit more about Clang tools anyway, so let's try a couple of stuff there. I tried the undefined behavior sanitizer, memory sanitizer, and they found nothing. Well, I really hoped for the UV sanitizer, by the way, but, but nothing. And then I, read the, I, I ran the address sanitizer, and it found an error. So this is part of the example, and uh, it said, Stack use after scope. It's like, no, why? It cannot be. Well, it could be, but uh, before I realized that, I went through the five stages of grief. First, I was in complete denial. I say, it, it cannot be that. The lifetime is extended. The lifetime of the temporary is extended. It just simply cannot be. Then I became really angry because that line was suspicious to me already, but I didn't want to change it. I said to myself that first we fix the real bug, and then we just remove this because uh, it shouldn't be there. We shouldn't rely on such things. And then, you know, comes the bargaining. Ah, oh, what if I paid more attention? Or actually, what if my colleagues paid more attention in the code review? Well, it quickly transformed into depression because Okay, so it's, it's there, but I still think that it's not possible. It shouldn't be there. What the heck, what, what should we do? And then I said, well, okay, I must accept it, and it's that, yeah? Uh, I must understand it and learn from it. And then it hit me, because a few weeks before, I, uh, I read about this, I don't remember where, but uh, I read that uh, a lifetime of a temporary cannot be further extended. It can be extended only once. And then I rearranged a bit the code, and I realized that first we run that uh, parameters.get. 
it extends the lifetime. But then we get another, and there will be no more lifetime extensions. And uh, so what can I say? Please be paranoid and don't introduce a lifetime extension ever and remove it as soon as possible. And don't believe in coincidences. Thank you.